Hey y'all, it's Natalie for Wow Embossing today and we are super excited to bring our newest release to you today. I am using this awesome confetti stencil with a diamond in the middle as well as the new Twinkly Fizz Trio which is inspired by Sarah Nauman and the colors in this, that pink one is called Strawberry uh, Sparkle. The purple is called Grape Fizz and the green is called a minty twinkle. So I've pulled out some inks that match with it. And I'm going to make an eight by eight layout um, from a vacation album. So I am going to use the little, um, I would call it a mask that comes with the stencil. Um, that is the diamond shape. And I'm going to use it to be a template for cutting out three of these photos of my kids at the arcade. Um, we were at the beach, but we needed just to kind of have a non-beach day one day. And so we, they're at the perfect age to go to the arcade. They had so much fun. Um, and we spent a bunch of money. <laughs> Those things are money pits, aren't they? But it's okay. They had fun. So I kind of edited the photos to be like bright because, you know, arcades are kind of dingy and dark sometimes. So I really love how they edit down to kind of include these sherbet like colors. Um, so I cut three of those and the rest I'll put into a pocket page. Um, but I'm trying to decide how to arrange them onto the um, background piece page. Again, this is an eight by eight page. And so I'm going to use this stencil to emboss these three colors. Um, and so I'm just marking where kind of the middle of the photo will be. And um, I'm going to use my waffle flower um, ink blending brush. Oh, nope, sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. First, I'm going to do a little bit of stamping before I do some embossing. So I pulled out a few like pattern stamps. Um, one of them is this little grid stamp here. And I'm going to um, do three, I'm going to use all three colors in three different diamonds. So I'm going to use the corresponding inks to go around the diamond as well and just kind of give a little bit of extra background and pattern and make this like kind of a little bit of a grungy, like grungy, but also pastel. <laughs> These colors are so great. Like they're going to be really super fabulous for spring and for Easter. Um, you'll definitely see me using this again. And of course they have glitter in them, which I love. Um, so I'm just using the stamp again around the mask and, um, most of the stamping will be kind of hidden, um, by the heat embossing, but again, it just leads, gives this little grungy feel for the bits that peek out. I'll also link down below to my Instagram account because today there is a hop on Instagram by um, all the design team for this new release. And if you hop through and leave comments and follow the directions, then you can be entered for a chance to win a $25 gift card to the wow store. So that's exciting. And you can pick up some of your own new um, release bits. There um, are two other trios as well as a plethora of other fab foilers and um, stencils and I think maybe a new stamp as well. So lots of goodies today. Go check it out for sure. So now I'm going to go in with the heat embossing powder and ink. So I'm going to use my waffle flower blending brush. I use the white one um, for my clear um, ink. And I'm just going to press that ink through the stencil um, around the diamond shape. And it will give this lovely little confetti um, spray of inked area. And then I will just put the different powders on it and set it. So I'm gonna use the strawberry fizz first. And it's so cute, I love it. and glittery and sparkly and pretty. And I use my dry um, paintbrush to knock off any bits of the embossing that kind of stuck to the page that was not um, in a heat or into an, in an inked area. And now I'm just setting it. And it sets fairly close to what it looks like. Um, it doesn't change too much. It just gets the glitter nice and shiny and not movable, which is always lovely especially in a scrapbook page. You don't really want glitter falling down in your page protector, right? So I love the way that looks. I'm gonna do the same for the other two colors. So I'm going in with the Grape Fizz. Sorry, it's, um, the other one was called Strawberry Sparkle. This is Grape Fizz. And the green one is called Minty Twinkle. 
so that's the grape fizz and it's super fabulous um i really love i love purple and you don't see a ton of purple all the time in paper crafting collections so anytime i can add it well you'll see that problem come up here in a little bit actually you'll see in a few minutes what i mean about no purple <laughs> but um now i'm going in with the minty color and adding that so um in my album for this trip, I have already used quite a bit of the Spectrum Sherbert collection by 49th and Market that came out last year in 2020. And I pulled that out again to use with these colors. It matches so great with the green and the pink. And then I realized there's no purple in that collection. It's a rainbow collection and there's zero purple. I guess one could argue that is because I mean, I associate server with like ice cream and one could argue that there's not really ever any purple ice cream. So, <laughs> so I had to get a little creative in incorporating the purple color in with the rest of the colors um, and the ephemera and everything that I pull out. I mostly just use the purple ink to ink up the edges and the distressing. Um, and that's how I incorporated purple into the rest of the page. But first I'm going to stick all of my photos down into the diamonds and look how the heat embossing just surrounds all the photos. So lovely. I'm really happy with how this looks and it, it um, really complements the colors that um, the photos were edited with and everything. <laughs> so there are ephemerates that I pulled out of the Spectrum Sherbert collection by 49th and Market. And they had tickets, which were really fabulous because we were at the arcade. And so they were obviously winning tickets, which most of the time they're like um, electronic tickets now, but they do still have the arm. And my kid won like, I think a thousand tickets with one of those claw machines. Um, I don't even know what they got. They got junk is what they got. <laughs> but I um, used a couple of the little labels from these ephemera collections to hold the um, title, which is going to be with these little Pink Fresh Studio uh, puffy alphas that is going to be high scoring. I'm just trimming off a little bit of the white cardstock because I did make it eight by eight, and then I decided that I would like to have it framed a little bit by a little bit of the pattern paper from the Spectrum Sherbert collection. So that is what I'm doing here. I'm just making little strips of this paper and I'm going to stick them around the edges um, and just a very small amount peek out. But like I said, not, there's no purple in this collection. So I did ink up the edges of my white cardstock with that um, wilted violet uh, distress oxide first and that helped, um, you know, mitigate the problem of not having purple on the papers. <laughs> so I am just finishing up here uh, giving a nice border to my white cardstock and I roughed up those edges. Like, like I said, I kind of have a theme going through the album of like, um, distress and, um, I really wanted to keep that going. So there is the title. I'm trying to figure out where I'd like to place it. And so I pull out some of the ephemera bits. I'm going to pull out some of the tickets and I, they have these little like medallions that you can mix and match with different colors. So I'm doing that with the pink and the mint color here. I think it says something about happiness or something. So the arrow is going to point to my son who's playing games and they were happy to be at the arcade. So um, since there is no purple in the ephemera, I decide to make my own. So I stamp um, with this lilac color and then I stamp with the um, star eye uh, emoji smiley and do a little bit of a title at the top. These are Heidi swap stamps. And so I'm just going to die cut it into a circle and then it will mimic the other circle that came from the 49th and market collection and it will include the purple. So that was my solution for there not being any purple in in this collection. So like I said, I'm going to link down below with my affiliate link. If you would like to pick up part of this new release, Additionally, I'm going to um, link to my Instagram, which is where we are having a hop today um, for WOW Embossing. So make sure to go over there, hop along, leave comments, and you can um, be entered for a chance to win store credit. I'm using those tickets to kind of anchor the little ephemera bits, which is fun. Um, and I'm really happy with how this page ended up coming together. Um, I add another little circle of ephemera bits up at the top under the title and yeah, it's, it's really coming together. And then I'll kind of just keep it simple with a little pocket page to uh, have any of the other photos from our day at the arcade. 
and we'll call it done. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'd love it if you'd like and subscribe and don't forget to hop along over on Instagram. Bye y'all.